it's a wrap. Hi, I'm Ian Rufa and welcome to Get Gardening. And on this video, we're looking at care and preparation of looking after your pots over the winter months. Now, of course, it is getting a little bit colder and a bit frostier and you may have prized containers that you think that, well, they may not quite get through what the winter has to throw at it. Uh, and of course, terracotta uh, is such a wonderful material to use. Now you may also have something which is glazed. Glazed pots are, are very, very popular. Uh, if you've got plastic, there's no need to real worry about them, that they're pretty good. But prized pots like this, which may have cost you quite large sums of money, uh, they may need something around them if you live in sort of more colder parts of the county or, or the country indeed. So terracotta itself is a very good material. It's a lovely thing to use for pots because it has that lovely warm colour. As you can see, it sort of ages nicely. You get a little bit of sort of uh, the salt that runs out of the terracotta and you get the sort of lichen which grows on there and a bit of the algae. And it really does blend them in well to the garden situation. But they can suffer if we have extreme cold through the winter. Now, it depends where you get your terracotta from, the first thing. Uh, garden centres and nurseries, specialist pot suppliers. There are some specialist suppliers who will heat their terracotta to very high temperatures, to over a thousand degrees, and they have a very strong core in them. But probably what, what you buy from sort of nurseries and garden centres, they might not be fired to quite such high temperatures. So what are we going to do to make sure they survive the winter months? Well, we could wrap them, uh, and I've got a couple of pieces of material here for, for wrapping. This is just good old Hessian. Uh, and you can use old hessian sacks or you can use hessian by the roll. And all we're really doing is we're giving the pot a bit more of sort of a blanket, a little bit more insulation. And also with something like, like hessian, it looks okay as well. Because the downside to protecting your pots is that you may have to cover them with a material like bubble wrap, for example. And I've got some down here somewhere. Where are we? There we are. Bubble wraps. I mean, that's really good, but it doesn't look the best through the winter months. OK, but I come up with an idea in that this forms really good insulation. So you could just put this around your pots and you could just wind a couple of layers round, and you could sort of use some string to hold it in place or some waterproof tape. And then if you really wanted to, then you could use the Hessian just as a covering, you know, just to sort of finish it off. Because, you know, things in horticulture, in gardening, should be practical and functional, but also they should be beautiful. So that would sort of lend itself well to sort of covering the hessian up and, and uh, giving that pot a nice finish through the, through the winter months. So both these materials will go quite a way to making sure that the, the pot doesn't get such frost damage. And I should have said really, the main reason it gets frost damage is because if you've got plants in there with compost and the root balls are moist, what happens is that the temperature drops, the water starts to turn into ice, crystals and as it turns into ice it expands and it's that process by which the actual water expands into ice that puts the pot under immense strain and then can actually cause cracking. Now there's something else we can do to keep our pots good uh, and that's drainage and you can see in there we've got just old broken up pots in there which are really good but but drainage in the bottom of a pot is really good because it allows excess water to run away and it's that excess moisture that sits in the pot which exacerbates the whole problem of the, the actual pot cracking. And you could use gravel, you could use old polystyrene, you could use anything and not only does it help the plants, you know, drains excess water away but it means it doesn't sit uh, around the inside of the pot. The other thing you could do is you can use pot feet. Uh, and I've got a couple of different types of pot feet here. Probably the one that you and I are more used to uh, is something like, like this, which are, are just clay, like cheese wedges almost, which you put under the, the pots. I'll do that here. And they just slot under. I've got three here just to go underneath. And all I'm going to do is just raise the pot off the ground. You see? So what we're doing there 
is we're making sure that once again any excess moisture can, can drain away and that's the important thing. Or if you've got larger pots or you have a garden like East Rust and you maybe uh, have something a bit more ornate, a bit more, a bit grand. Uh, and these are lions, lions heads and the paws, they're sitting there and, and, and these are used for large pots. They're large pots which are two or three feet across. They're very solid, very well made and they will also keep the pot off the ground and allow excess water to drain away. You could just use bricks if you wanted to. Um, you could just get the small terracotta little feet that uh, good garden centres and nurseries sell but it's all about allowing excess moisture to drain away. And even if you have your pot sit on gravel, it's also good to have some pot feet under there because what can happen is that the worms can get in the bottom of the pot, they can mill the compost or the soil that's in there and they almost make like a sort of putty-like seal over the drainage holes. So by lifting that up, that allows the moisture to go. Now, some of you may also be growing plants in pots in saucers. And it's at this time of year we need to think about removing those saucers because many plants will be going into hibernation, they'll be going sort of dormant, they won't be needing so much moisture as they have had through the spring and summer months. And when the weather's really hot, something like a saucer is really good because we can sit our pot in there. This one's a little bit small, but you get the idea. And it just means that if we've got things like Japanese maples, and I grow quite a few Japanese maples in pots at home, then they've got a constant supply of moisture. And that's so important for them. But at this time of year, having these saucers under pots would allow the, the root ball to keep much wetter than it should do, and it might cause rotting of the plant, but also, it will exacerbate that possible cracking of the pot because there's nowhere for the water to drain away to. So remove your saucers now, either put your pots on pot feet or you know, just make sure the drainage holes are, are clean and free and you can use a piece of wire for that or something or an old bamboo cane. And you should keep your pots looking wonderful, crack free and looking good for the following season. Hey!